as an academic administrator or learning service specialist, you'll have the ability to masquerade as a user, whether that's a colleague or a student, in order to see any interactions that they've participated in. By default, as you saw in the previous video, you have the ability to visit any course or see any assignment. So you want to use this privilege sparingly and really have a very specific reason in mind. Um, in order to do so, you'll notice that under the courses menu, uh, you'll see that you have the courses that you are enrolled in as a student or teacher or designer, but you'll also see that you have something called managed accounts. Managed accounts are uh, particular uh, sub-accounts that uh, you will have the ability to access. So for example, if you're a division director in the middle school or a learning service specialist in the middle school, you'll likely only see the middle school uh, managed account. If you're a chair uh, or someone with enabled rights across all the divisions, you might see the Blake School and so on and so forth. So in this particular example, we're going to uh, play the role of a learning services specialist or a uh, division director and go into the uh, middle school uh, account. And you'll notice here on the right, you have the ability to find a user. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and find a uh, seventh grade student um, and go ahead and select go. You'll see that I will see all the students or parents who are listed um, in this particular uh, in Canvas. And in this case, this is the seventh grader that I'm looking to uh, see you'll notice that you have this ability to become the user. Again, you'll want to use this sparingly because you can visit any course um, that uh, the student is uh, enrolled in by simply scrolling down below, as you saw in the previous video, and selecting that course and uh, visiting that course to see everything from the uh, assignments to uh, the course content. But on a rare occasion, you may decide that it is essential that you become um, that particular student or that particular user. And you'll notice that when you do, you're going to get a, a message asking if you want to masquerade as the user. Take a moment to read um, the uh, following message. Basically, what it states is that even though you're masquerading a user, any, any uh, interaction that you do on that user's behalf is actually logged as you. Uh, so again, you want to be very careful about using this privilege and using it sparingly. You'll notice that once I start masquerading, down below I have the ability to see that I am con I'm currently masquerading as a student and to stop masquerading. And then the uh, Canvas uh, page uh, ends up looking just as if uh, this particular user uh, would see. And so then you can go ahead and see, in this particular case, uh, this particular user's uh, assignments uh, for uh, the week. Um, so again, use the masquerading tool really sparingly. Once you're all done, you want to make sure that you go ahead and click Stop Masquerading. Um, and once you're finished, uh, you can go ahead and uh, uh, continue on your way.